While the solar storm hitting the Earth's atmosphere is millions of miles away, as we know, the eruptions on the sun are bringing the northern lights to regions that rarely see them. Tonight, Michael George is in New York and has his eyes on the sky. Oh, oh my God, God, it was not expecting Breathtaking otherworldly images from Canada, Ukraine, Switzerland, and England. And across much of the U.S., people witness streaks of pink and purple and green as far south as Florida. Wow. Sean Dahl, senior space weather forecaster for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, explains what we're seeing in the skies. The aurora is when we get energized particles that have left the sun in more quantities than usual, and they interact with Earth's magnetic barrier. Astrophysicist Noor Rawafi says this is the biggest geomagnetic storm in more than 20 years. This one is pretty large. I think it's it's pretty extreme. It's so large it can temporarily disrupt satellites we rely on for communication and navigation like GPS. Elon Musk's Starlink satellites are reporting degraded service. Most of us have GPS on our phones. Is that something that could potentially be disrupted? Yes, it could because most of our phones are single frequency GPS systems. Aurora Borealis can even impact our power grid and cause blackouts, but utility companies took precautions. It seems this time around certain steps were taken. Now, if you missed seeing Aurora, you do have another chance tonight. Of course, it's weather dependent, but experts say your best shot is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. Michael George, CBS News, West New York, New Jersey.